welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. So if you are not new, thank you for coming back to today's video. So I just want to sit down and talk to you guys, spread a little motivation, and just share some tips and some tricks that I had for staying motivated. Whether you're in nursing school or grad school, I feel like these tips will be useful for both avenues, wherever you find yourself at in life. These are some tips that I have gathered along the way from undergrad to now that I'm in grad school. And I just wanted to share these tips with you because I know sometimes you do find yourself during periods of life where you just don't feel motivated and you just kind of ask yourself, okay, what am I doing? I need to stay motivated. And it's easy to find yourself in some of these discouraging times. So that is what the basis of today's video is. If you guys are interested in hearing these tips on how to stay motivated, or if you just need a little bit of motivation and encouragement for yourself, sis, bruh, I got you. Here we are. So please keep watching. So first and foremost, I just want to say everybody's on a different educational path. And the one thing that I have had to remind myself of so much, at least this past year, because if you guys are not new to my channel, then you guys know that I'm in grad school. If you guys are new to my channel, then um, I have already been in grad school and working on my DNP for acute care nurse practitioner and I've been in grad school for a year. So the one thing that I've had to remind myself of for the most part is it's not how fast you get to the finish line. The fact is you're in the race. You are running. You're in your lane. You're doing your thing and you will get to the finish line. So it's not how fast that you get there, it's the fact that you're in the race. So that is something I've had to remind myself of, I don't know how many times since being in grad school, even just for a year. So that's what I wanted to at least start this video off with. So when it comes to ways to stay motivated, I always say first and foremost, have a plan and stick to it. So when you want to study for your classes, um, have a plan. Write your plan out. I don't know how you guys like to stay organized, but I have a big calendar, which you guys have probably seen on my wall. And I like to write out all of my due dates for my classes. Then I also write them out in a little planner. So have a plan and stick with it. When you come home from work or when you come home from wherever you're at, you already have your momentum built up for the day. So because you have that momentum and that drive already built up, then don't let that slack. That's the time where you want to keep the drive going. So I would say that's the best time for you to study. That's the best time for you to maybe do review questions if you're preparing for the NCLEX or you're preparing to sit for a board or whatever the case may be. While you have that momentum that you've carried with you all throughout the day, that would be the best time to do whatever it is that you need to do for a class or whatever the case may be. Another way that I like to stay motivated are little small celebrations. So celebrate the small things. You got an A on an exam. You passed a check off. You got an A on a discussion post. Whatever the case may be, these are small victories for yourself. These are things that you worked hard for. Uh, maybe it was a group project or whatever the case may be, you worked hard for it. Celebrate the small victories because when you celebrate these small victories, you feel good about yourself. You know that it's a weight lifted off of your shoulder. It's one less assignment. So it always feels good to celebrate the small stuff. And in celebrating, celebrate yourself. Celebrate you and the fact that you have accomplished something. Um, so I'm a big proponent on self-care. That is a way to not get burnt out and that helps with your motivation. So if you wanna celebrate a small victory, go out and treat yourself. Treat yourself to a nice meal. Treat yourself to a manicure, a pedicure, a massage, whatever the case may be. And in rewarding yourself and treating yourself and celebrating these small victories, you are rewarding yourself, you're having a day of self-care, and then you are in turn not letting yourself get burnt out because we all know we need to take small breaks. You do not wanna be constantly studying, 
are constantly doing something for your class 24 seven. You have to have these small breaks. So this leads into the next tip that I like for motivation. When I'm working on, let's say a paper, or I'm studying for a class, I will set a timer. I will work on the particular topic at hand for X amount of time. Let's say I'm gonna work on it for 45 minutes or an hour, and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take a break. I'm going to take a break mentally, physically, emotionally, because we all know it can be very, very draining. We know the demand that these courses can have on our body. So take a break, go outside, get some fresh air, take your pet for a walk, just eat, do something for yourself. So take a break so you don't get burnt out. And this also helps you stay motivated because then you can come back later, continue working on what it was that you were working on before, but you'll have a fresh mindset and a new train of thought. And even looking at it with fresh eyes again, you can get back into that flow and that vibe and you can start again. Honestly, guys, you will be surprised at how quickly and efficiently you can work just with a renewed mind. Trust me. So another way that I like to stay motivated, speaking for myself, I like to look at my courses. So for example, I'll look at my course list, which I'll just kind of flash up here on the screen. Um, and I'm going to use my active course list now for my DMP program. And I like to go through and mark off every class that I've taken. And I like to do this because it helps me look at my long-term goals. So whatever you have to do, whether it's post a picture of something that you find on Google or somebody in that role that you want to be you someday, whether it's posting inspirational quotes on your wall, whether it's downloading apps that send you inspirational quotes every morning, something that will keep you in a positive mindset. And that even leads for social media. Like be careful who you follow and what you see posting and what's coming into your eyes and what's coming into your ears because you need to surround yourself with positivity. So when I go through and I'm marking off these courses on my DMP course list, I'm telling myself, okay, that's another course down. That's another course down. Okay, I'm chipping away. I'm chipping away. And even though I still may have 15, 20 more courses or even more, I know that I am slowly making a dent. And that is refreshing to me. So prime example, I had a phone call with my advisor. I sent her an email. I was like, ma'am, I want to talk to you about my academic plan. I want to map out my whole year for 2019 because I'm in that positive mode. I'm in that mindset. I want to know what classes I'm going to be eligible to sign up for for the summer. And I want to know what classes I'm going to be eligible to sign up for in the fall. Now, not only does that make me proactive about my education, but that also is keeping me goal oriented. And that's how I'm staying motivated because I'm looking ahead and that's helping me figure out, OK, I know the classes that I'm going to be able to sign up for when the specific registration dates open. And that's also telling me how many more classes I'm going to be marking off the list before I reach certain milestones that I want to celebrate. So that's a way to stay motivated. Set milestones for yourself. You don't have to make them huge, gargantuous, just something that you want to reach. And when you reach it, celebrate it. So also, I just want to say another way to stay motivated, in my opinion, are the people that you surround yourself with, your family, your friends, those that can keep you motivated, those that can keep you on track, those that can keep you accountable. These are also good resources and they're good to have in your corner because they're cheering for you and they're rooting you on. So these type of people to have in your corner are also good ways to stay motivated. Um, your friends, if you link up with people in your classes and you can go back and forth with them about how are you doing, how am I doing, back and forth, then that's a good way to stay motivated because you're there to uplift and help one another. So all of these things I just wanted to share with you guys about how to stay motivated, tips and tricks on how to stay motivated. I hope they've been helpful for you guys. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section on what you guys thought. What are ways that you guys stay motivated in your courses and in your classes? As always, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. It's the big red button down below. You cannot miss it. And if you haven't clicked on it already, what are you waiting for? 
Don't forget to hit the little bell next to it so you get notifications every time I post a new video. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.